Good morning. Welcome to Sun and Star Farm. This is week 15 vegetable garden tour. Um, I'm trying to do this once a week so that you can see the progression of things. Everything is growing super fast. The garden is quite tore up at the moment um, because I am in the process of getting things planted and I'm having to do that in between grooming clients. I also took everything off of the greenhouse. It's going to get tore down. Um, and I'm going to try to utilize the shelves so it's not a complete waste, but I'm still in the process of figuring out how I'm going to do it. The first bed is my spearmint, asparagus, and rhubarb bed, and it is looking absolutely amazing. I've been getting some of the nasturtium blooms started. My first zinnias are coming up. Um, and then the dill and my um, celosia is starting to bloom. So I do have a lot of flowers in my garden. My garden has got a nice mix of, it's almost like a potager garden, but I don't know. It's more of let the, let the seeds fall in, let's see what grows, so. Uh, the corn is doing fantastic. It is waist high. This is a sweet corn that I planted. It's a bicolor sweet corn. Um, you can see that the carrot has bloomed profusely over here. And then uh, that little raspberry plant that's down here, I need to still dig out, is doing fantastic. Uh, you can see the sweet peas on the vine are just getting massive. I've got peas out here already and I probably will pick some here in the next day or two. Um, they're definitely at the right size. So I may actually pick, there may be enough to pick tonight. Um, but oh, look at the blooms. Is that not just exquisite? I love peas. I have a few radishes left, but not very many. One went to uh, seed. So I left it for the flowers. I'll collect the, the seeds from it. Um, then I got the, I don't know if you can tell because the sun's coming up from behind, in front of me, but here, my purple, my purple peas. And then I also have pink blush. I had a couple that were blushing the other day that I saw. Um, I'm not seeing them right now, but I do have pink blushing peas too. They're a green pod with a light dusting of pink. But, oh, is that not beautiful? And these are way taller than I am now. These guys over here are really catching up too. Some of them haven't even started blooming yet. Um, the ones down here have. And I'm getting some, just some beautiful blooms, purples fuchsias. I mean, these are just gorgeous. So not only, you know, are they producing something that's beautiful, but they're definitely something um, that I'm loving having in my garden. This is the first year I've been successful with my peas. I mean, that is just gorgeous. Sorry. I don't know what else to call it, but gorgeous. You know, the peas... Um, you can actually take the tendrils and eat the tendrils in salads, too. This is uh, a tendril-type pea that you can eat the tendrils. But and the radish blooms. I know, I love flowers. Vegetables are a close second, but the flowers are probably... I grow more stuff because of the flowers. <laughs> the food is just an extra. And i got some white ones up here. So, I don't know if I, I don't, yep, I got some baby peas over here too. So I'm excited about that. So the peas are doing really good. And these are scarlet runner beans. Um, they're just starting to climb the trellis. They do better once it gets a little bit warmer. And these are the winged, the winged beans um, that I did not plant. These came back up from last year. I didn't get any beans from them so I'm kind of curious to see if maybe I'll get something this year and then the, the Italian come around, the Italian uh, the Italian 
dandelion is looking magnificent. I planted some marjoram down here. These are two of my artichokes that are coming up and I'm starting to get chamomile flowers. So I'm going to have to come out and start picking some chamomile. Um, I'll do that in a little bit once it dries. Everything's real dewy right now and I don't want to pick anything while it's dewy. Um, I have a calla lily coming up in a mound of grass. I need to pull the grass along with the clover. So there's a lot of weeds in this center section, but they're going to be taken care of. Uh, my white dandelion is doing beautiful. I need to come and pull seeds from them. I, I keep taking the seeds and planting them all over my garden. And then uh, this is horse heel. It is an, a medicinal herb. It is blooming, blooming profusely. It's looking beautiful. I need to come out and uh, collect some of the seed heads of this too. I'd like to plant it in my side flower garden. But is that not beautiful? That bright golden yellow. Little daisy like flowers. And it has medicinal purposes. So I'm excited. And then uh, the phlox is just ridiculously beautiful it is going to look so pretty once the bee balm starts blooming I do have tomato plants as you can see I started planting my tomato one of my tomato beds um, so I've got tomatoes in here I also have um, a yellow chamomile and I have uh, its lovage which is a type of celery that's planted there the lettuce bed is pretty much shot. Um, I've picked some lettuce from it, but it got bitter too fast. I planted it too late, which is fine. I've been pulling out a lot of the, um, a lot of the um, flowering or gone to seed plants to take to the chickens, which the chickens are absolutely in heaven. Um, I do have some leaf lettuce over here that's still good to pick, and I'll be picking some for dinner tonight. Um, I will let my onions go to seed. These won't be going to seed. Um, they should actually bulb up, but some of this is, uh, has come up on its own. So I am leaving it. Um, tons of weeds that need to be pulled. Arugula that's gone to seed that needs to get pulled. I pulled the mustards out over here that had gone to seed. Um, I do have random patches of chamomile that are coming up because it self-seeded itself. So I'm excited about that. Um, so I'll be pulling flower heads to dry for chamomile tea. The salad burnt looks beautiful. And of course, you know, I, like I always say, I leave dandelions. Um, I do pull some out if there's too many. But the dandelions I leave because they do have medicinal purpose. Um, I have a couple of cucumbers that are coming up. These are burpless cucumbers and I had sweet potatoes back here in this bed last year and I do have a few um, sweet potato vines that are coming up that must be from roots that didn't get pulled last year still no complaints there the green beans are doing amazing Swiss chards coming up I still need to get this weeded I worked on a little bit of it and then you know life gets in the way marigolds Green beans are looking good. I should have green beans soon. I've got a ton of babies. Um, they're not quite ready to be picked yet, so I'll be watching. I do need to get out here and weed this, though. And then I noticed that um, a lot of the zinnias that are coming up are starting to have flower heads, so I should have flowers here shortly. I need to come out with the sunflower seeds. I haven't planted those yet. That is on my to-do list. Beets are looking great. Um... I'm going to start coming out and pulling some of these. I mean, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So I'll have some beets for dinner. My husband will be just oh so excited. He hates beets. And uh, the red onions are looking pretty good. Once again, bed needs to be weeded. On the to-do list. Um, this is going to be kind of a, a quick tour. Uh, I told myself I wasn't going to go over 15 minutes. Tomato plants that need to be planted. Uh, basil that needs to be planted. Strawberries are looking good. They're coming up. They're leafing out. Herb garden is good. The bushes aren't planted yet either. They need to get planted. They're looking good. This all needs to be mowed. Um, 
I hear a red tail hawk tormenting my chickens. I swear. Um, the elderberry is doing fantastic. And my celosia is probably going to start blooming soon. I mean, it's getting to that point where it's tall enough. Um, the galardia is looking beautiful. The little rose bush back here is doing fantastic. The canna is doing great. Look at this. Is that not beautiful? You hear that hawk in the background tormenting. The roses are doing fantastic. Oh boy, is she screaming. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So the roses are doing good. Um, I was worried because this had something weird going on and somebody thought it was mosaics disease but I've noticed that um, some of that's going away the leaves are getting greener so maybe it's not mosaics maybe it was something else um, I'm not an expert with rose diseases but um, multiple people thought it was mosaics because of the way the leaves were kind of spotted and it may very well be but it's definitely not affecting um, the whole rose plant which I heard it would affect all of the rose but so far no but look at all of the blooms that is going to be glorious when this blooms look at the stalk I mean that's just crazy oh my goodness hawk hawk you're going crazy over there the canna the elderberries got tons of babies around the bottom I'm not complaining that is one big freaking caterpillar. I ain't touching it because it's one of the fuzzy ones and they sting. Um, I'm gonna have to, uh, uh, oh well, I'll take care of that later. I'm not gonna do it while I'm trying to hold a camera. I'll end up getting stung and then I'll be mad. So everything is doing great over here. I even have a baby elephant ear that's coming up. I didn't think uh, it had survived oh, another one of those little white caterpillars. Eek. Oh, wow. That's life. If you can't share with nature, what's the point of growing? At least I know that my plants aren't poisonous. So, uh, everything is looking great in the garden. Um, other than it being kind of chaotic because I'm in the process of getting things planted. Um, so, yeah, it looks messy. But, you yeah, know, that's me. And then my very first sunflower, and I didn't even plant this darn thing. Very first sunflower of the year. Planted itself from bird seed that I was feeding a, a pigeon that was coming to our house this past winter. And one of the seeds had planted itself. I think that is hilarious. But I left it. It's short, but it's cute. Berries are looking good. Other plants are looking good. Herbs are looking good. So, sorry this is kind of a rushed tour. Um, but I do have to hop off of this. My grooming client will be here in about 10 minutes. And uh, I just wanted to get this video done. It's getting harder and harder to do videos um, as my grooming business picks up. So, I will be doing these quick videos if there's something specific that you are curious about in my garden um let me know and i'll try to answer your questions um to the best of my ability um still got asparagus coming up asparagus stalk i love this frilly frilly uh asparagus ferns and then gosh the spearmint is going crazy i need to come in snip some of that back so this bed is going to be beautiful i love zinnias i'm so excited and i'm so excited about the the rhubarb i have a recipe for rhubarb relish that was my grandmother's recipe and she used it on pork Oh my gosh, is it to die for? And they used it as a base for a homemade barbecue sauce. That was amazing. Um, so that is definitely, um, I'm hoping that this survives the summer. 
and comes back next winter or next spring and um, I'll be able to pick some and maybe make a small batch of rhubarb next year and then uh, the following year hopefully start be able to make big batches so fingers are crossed next year I'll get to pick my first asparagus too so I'm excited about that um, I'll have to trim back the uh, the spearmint um, but the asparagus doesn't seem to mind it they just pushes right up and past it so I'm excited so please uh, like and subscribe watch as my garden grows um, we'll see oh, hawk. Uh, that's a Mississippi kite hawk that wasn't a red tail those ones don't bother my chickens it's uh, the red tailed hawk but my garden is definitely looking glorious all right, you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.